Third is the idea of a business model, not just a product feature. So let's say you've, you've thought through something, you've seen a problem, and now you've got a solution to a problem. Okay, so that's, that's the first two steps. Identify a problem, find a solution. Third trap, very straightforward, but do you have a business model as opposed to just a product feature or something without a business model? And this can get very, um, uh, very cloudy for people at times because they'll say, for, there used to be, and this was true during the internet bubble, um, and I think we'll see a lot with what's happening in the economy where companies that don't have a business model, you know, if you're not solving a problem, you're probably really in trouble. If you're solving a problem with no business model, you're, you're going to be rapidly out, but at least you're solving a problem. So there were companies where, for example, there was a company called Cosmo, um, and Cosmo was a business where they would deliver things to you in New York or any city, and you could, want, you could wake up at 2 a.m. and you want a, um, a candy bar, an ice cream, two pound ice cream at the corner store, two dollar ice cream, and they'll go deliver it for you and charge you like next to nothing, okay? This was wildly popular. I mean, so you could say, gee, this solves the problem of people don't want to leave their apartment, people want to get their food. You know, we did customer satisfaction surveys and people, 100%, who would, who would say, I don't like this? I wouldn't use this service. They couldn't make any money. They just couldn't make any money because people would not pay enough to support what the service would do. And for a while, when you know, the economy's booming and things are crazy, they figure, well, I don't really need to figure out how to make money. I'm just going to have enough people show up. And at some point, by magic or osmosis, we'll just, this is wonderful. And in fact, you're actually losing money every time someone calls you up at Cosmo and decides they, you know, the cha-ching, it's going in the opposite direction. So you know, this was true of a lot of different businesses like that. So you really have to have a, a business model. You have to make sure you're not only solving a problem for the customer, but they will pay you and, and, and uh, you will make money from solving this problem, which means you have to have customers who are willing to pay and willing to pay enough to make this worthwhile. To relate that, again, back to the ticketing example, um, we make 25% worth of fees, which is you know, a pretty good model with no inventory and whatnot. Now, the reason why, because we always we get this question, gee, 25%, that seems crazy, that seems too much, that can't be sustainable. And yet, StubHub's grown, Viagogo's grown exponentially, people pay it. Why? Because what we are competing against is people before you had Viagogo, would, I would have a ticket for, uh, uh, I would take my ticket I want to sell. I would sell it to the tout for 100 pounds. He would turn around and sell it to someone else for 200 pounds. So the implicit margin is, you know, markup is triple digits, and it's a very unpleasant process. So the, you are providing real value and solving a real problem for the consumer, they will pay the fees. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. Plus the market, the key thing for people here is safety and security, not simply getting the best deal. There is no good deal if you get a fraudulent ticket or the ticket doesn't arrive, or you get mugged outside uh, dealing with a tower. What they want is safe, secure, guaranteed. That's what it's about. Because if you were willing to just go cheap, you'd go to eBay. Tickets on eBay are cheaper, okay? People would say, you used to get, well, I know a friend, he went to eBay, had no problem with the ticket. You know, it worked for him. Well, I mean, I have a friend who played Russian roulette. Worked for him, he's fine. Doesn't mean that everyone's gonna wanna do it. So, you know, that is, is the whole point.